you know, after I pulled up that video with Android Tate, I saw a lot of why I'm about to, I'm just going to keep it a buck. The reason that most of you are broke is because you can't do research. You cannot understand your reading comprehension skills are non-existent because once again, I was not um, a consumer of Andrew Tate's content, but I've had many people say, well, he's saying the same things that you were saying. And I listened to some of the stuff and some of the same views, but this is what's funny. Why didn't Kevin Samuels blow up like Andrew Tate? So I actually started to do a, di a deep, deep dive into Andrew Tate. Like one of the things, Andrew Tate is worth several hundred million dollars. All right. As someone who's been around really, really rich people, I actually started to do some forensic accounting. So when you go to Andrew Tate's net worth, you see 365 million per Andrew Tate. And all of the sites that list his net worth are gossip sites. Now, this is what's interesting. When you get to Forbes, they talk about the downfall of Andrew Tate and his implications. He is not on the Forbes list of net worth people. He's nowhere. I, I Googled it. I checked it. He's not on the list. So he's not worth half a billion. He's not worth 300 million. And then I started to do some more research. When was Hustlers University founded? It was founded in 2021. And I did some more research. When did he buy the Bugatti? He bought the Bugatti December of 2021. You know, like I, I've seen this. I've seen this over and over and over again. I have seen this with the Amazon FBA guys. They'll come on YouTube, they'll put some content out and only after they start selling a course do these lifestyle enhancements happen? Now, Hustlers University had, it's rumored that it had 100,000 students, 128,000. Any way you look at it, it's five or six million a month. So in 2021, when he had a business that was making five million per month, this put him in the range to afford the Bugatti. But he couldn't have bought this car before before he started Hustlers University. He couldn't have bought this car. Now, this is something else too. Um, I found this video. Guy finds Andrew Tate on his yacht. Now, I want you to see that. Gulitz Freedom. I want you to I want you to remember that. Because essentially He's smoking a cigar and he's playing with some nunchuckers on a yacht, right? And someone sees this and films it. And this plays into the legend because Andre Tate has gone on record and said he owns a yacht. He owns a yacht, right? Uh, let's let's get back get back to. Because, you know, yachts are extremely expensive and you got to have a lot of money to afford a yacht. This appears to be a 200 foot yacht. It's a big boy. All right. Freedom. So. Boom. It's a rental. He does not own a yacht. It's a rental. You know, it literally took me two minutes to find this out. Once again, same boat, same boat, same boat. It's a rental. He's renting the yacht. He does not own the yacht. Which now makes me question the $350 million net worth. 
Also, going back to, this was Andrew Tate in 2015, driving a regular car. Regular car. And this is where it gets interesting. In 2016, Andrew, Andrew Tate was on Big Brother, and he got kicked off the show because there was a video of him hitting a woman with a belt. And he got kicked off the show. Now, this kind of brings up some other stuff. All right. Now, you guys know I'm into BDSM. And I'm going to tell you a story. One of the housewives that I participated in with on Craigslist, this five foot nothing blonde blue eyed housewife, she begged her husband for years to spank her, to hit her. He wouldn't do it. The average man cannot conceive or even think about spanking a woman. So in 2016, we have proof positive that Andrew Tate has no problems putting his hands on women. And I was listening to the Patrick Bet David show and there was like, you know, they were talking about these were some trumped up charges. Andrew Tate is um, a handsome, in shape man and women are literally throwing themselves at him. He wouldn't have to rape a woman. Let me introduce... Darren Sharper to you. Darren Sharper. You may know who he is. But Daryl Sharper was an NFL player for the New Orleans Saints. Darren Sharper, in my opinion, was a handsome man. Darren Sharper, in shape. No dad bod. You can actually see his abs. Handsome man. In shape. Multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. Would Darren Sharper have to rape someone? Would Daryl Sharper? Darren Sharper is now in prison for 20 years for raping women. Handsome, in shape, multi-millionaire Darren Sharper is in prison for rape. See, when I was looking at the Patrick, I was like, you guys don't understand. Everybody's not the same. And we already know that there is something going on with Andrew Tape because he was Hitting a woman with a belt. I not consumed enough of his content to know if he's into BDSM. Sounds like it. And there's something else that's a little weird. There's something else that's a little weird. Um... Let's see. Uh, let's... Look up Richard Cooper. Richard Cooper. It was uh, interviewing Andrew, and Andrew spoke about his relationship with his brother and how they live together, which is strange. Which is strange. I don't care, you know, you, you, you can ask me. If you're a fan, you know, a lot of people's like he's a, he and his brother have this strong bond. They're, they're, they're brothers. They don't let women come between them. They live together. And this is where, once again, it gets a little strange. They got on this private jet, him and his dates. It was Andrew, it was Tristan and two women. And there was two S classes waiting. Andre, Andrew and Tristan got in one and the women got in the other. That's strange. That's strange. So, you know, once I started to consume a lot of his content, I saw, once again, I am judging him based upon my understanding of finance. 
Now, the fact that he lied about owning a yacht, this is a straight up lie. This is a straight up lie. He doesn't own a yacht. So if he would lie about that, what else would he lie about? Because, you know, I saw some little hate from the weak boys men. Well, Andrew Tate has this world-renowned popularity. He's on another level. And the guy used the word little Glendon Cameron. All right. Until 2021, no one knew who the fuck Andrew Tate was. No one knew. When you go back and look at the clips, most of the clips are from 2021 and 2022. Let's go ahead and do Andrew Tate 2020. Kickboxing. Um, He did not respond to his arrest. He's still in jail. There is nothing. There is nothing from 2020. It's all 2021 and 2022. You know, so what he did, and I'm going to say it was smart. What he did is he figured out a way to leverage a lot of attention. Andrew Tate is a social media construct. He is not a real businessman. Now, the cam girl operation is reported that he was, once again, there's no proof. All of his numbers are reported by Andrew Tate, the same guy who says he, he owns a yacht when he's renting a yacht. Um, the Bugatti, he bought that in December after forming Hustlers University. And... Uh, his Instagram, let's see. I think his Instagram was gone. But I guarantee, I wish his Instagram was still up. Because you could creep back on folks on their Instagrams. I would say that Andrew Tate did not get, now, I would believe he's made 60, 70 million dollars with Hustlers University. I would believe that. But I do not believe this guy's worth 350 million because of Hustlers University. Hustlers University has some basic rudimentary things. I'm going to give you an example of what um, Andrew Tate did. Instagram, let's see. Bad Barbie. All right. This is what Andrew Tate did. Now, um, that's not her. All right, so I'm going to have to do it this way because people will jump on bad Barbie. I got to come at it this way. Sign it. No. All these simple ass bitches like.
Bad Barbie OnlyFans. All right. Let's see. Instagram. All right, here she is. Here she is. All right. Now, she has 16 million followers. Now, I'm going to like uh to me she's a 5. To me, she's a 5. Now, I am too cheap to see what she did because she went ahead and then all right last time I checked this she did not have that much booty that's interesting that's a recent development so what she did is bad Barbie Instagram. I want to. I want to. I want to give you the play. Uh, Bad Barbie. Only fans. Okay. So. Um. This is what she did. Now, let's look at. I don't know. Would y'all hit that? Put that in the comments. Would you tap that? To me, she's just not that attractive. To me. Like right there. That's what I'm talking about. Last time I checked, she did not have that much booty as she now she does now. And um so this is the important thing. Of her 16 million followers, 2 million which is a one, which is like one percent. One, it's almost two percent. Uh, two million. Let's see. Let me go ahead and do the math real quick. Let me do the math real quick. Sixteen two two minus two percent. Really? Let me let me do that again because I came up with only three hundred and twenty thousand. All right, minus two percent. So. If only 2% of her 16 million followers, because 10% would be 1.6 million. So literally 2% of her followers went to her OnlyFans, and that's how she made $50 million. See, this, this, this is how the game works. First, you get the attention. You got to get the attention. Once you get enough attention, you can sell a lot of whatever to anyone. So what Bad Barbie did, she has 16.2 million followers. And she gets a lot of attention. That's the playbook that Andre Tate was operating on. Get the attention, get the attention, get the attention. Because if Andre Tate was a savvy business person, uh... Wouldn't that be in Hustlers University? Wouldn't that be in Hustlers University? So, Hustlers University. I mean, there, there's Hustlers University number one, Hustlers University number two. Apparently, it got canceled and they brought it back. And the reason that Hustlers University got shut down was Stripe, their payment processor, shut them down. Now, and I'm gonna tell you why Stripe probably shut them down. He was getting hella chargebacks. 
he was getting tons of chargebacks. Um, you know, Uh, let's see. Hustlers University key points. Cons, no refund and trains. Training fields disjointed. Tons of controversy around Andrew Tate. Uh, worthwhile for Andre Tate fans. So, because he's built this religious cult-like following, you have people who were buying his course because this is why Hustler University number three he, he launched this. This this is going on right now. Because that's how he makes his money. He does not make his money from other business ventures. You don't make $350 million from kickboxing. You don't. You would have to be the number one kickboxer in the world to even begin approaching that kind of money. So this is where he makes his money. I, I feel that Andre Tate... Um, was deep into the cam world, which to me, um, I, I'm like, that's I'm not a fan of cam girls. To me, it's kind of pointless to watch a girl play with herself and move. That that makes that does nothing for me. But for a lot of lonely, desperate men, these girls make a lot of money. A lot of money. So, I don't know. I don't believe if I didn't drop out, I would be graduating high school this year. Dang, she's pretty young. But... That's the playbook. Andre Tate got a lot of attention and that enabled him to get a lot of people because he's gotten millions of people following. Let's go to his Twitter. All right, so uh, let's see. He's got 4 million followers. God is on our side, so the Matrix will not win. So he's got now th this whole notion that he is speaking out and this is why people are coming after him. This is 100% preposterous. Now, Andrew Tate is a social media celebrity. Okay. And who follows social like, let me go ahead and show you who's following Andrew Tate, The Rock Instagram. Uh, the Rock's got way more followers than Andrew Tate. Um, but these are the similar people who are, who are following The Rock are following Andrew Tate. He does not have heads of state. He does not have people in power. All he have is a bunch of broke losers who feel, man, if I speak out, the Matrix is going to get me. If I speak out. If I speak out. Andre Tate, Donald Trump, Kanye West. We're trying to inform the masses that, you know, you're being... Really? Now, let's go ahead and see is Andre Tate 
out of jail. All right, so someone has access to his Twitter account. Or maybe he has access to it because he is still in jail. He is still in jail. So take what you want. I'm not give, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm giving you facts. The, the guy lied about owning a yacht. He doesn't own a yacht. Which means that... And Andre Tate's a pretty smart guy. He knows that most of his followers are intellectually challenged. He can sell them bullshit. He can sell them bullshit and tell them it's perfume. He can do that all day long. So, Andre Tate is a social media construct. He has no real power. None. He can get on Twitter. Now, Elon Musk, once again. Now, Elon Musk actually has more power than Andre Tate. Elon Musk can literally move the crypto markets. So, Elon Musk is connected. Elon Musk has billionaire friends. So, in terms of real power, Elon Musk has way, way more power than Andre Tate. Because Andre Tate is a social media construct. And once again, and you know, I've had a lot of people in there talking about, well, you know US law, you don't know Romania law. So you think it's legal to hold women against their will in Romania? You think that's legal? You sound like a fucking dumbass. And, you know, I keep hearing, well, the charges of money laundering. Reportedly, there's not just Romania's after him, it's two other countries after him. Andre Tate is in some deep doo-doo. He's in some deep doo-doo. And once again, going back to... Let's see. Where is it? Going back to when he was um, he was spanking this woman with a belt. And that was 2016. 2016. Like, I do believe Andre Tate is a very smart guy. But I don't think that he is a from the bootstraps type businessman because look, all right, 2016, this guy was on a reality fucking television show. Rich people don't do shit like that. So I submit the evidence that the lot, the yacht is a rental. I've proven that the yacht is a rental. And I believe he has mil he's made millions of dollars. Like I said, he's had. Andre Tate has been spending money like a crackhead. Who does that remind you of? Andre Tate has got this access to millions of dollars. And he started spending money um, like a crackhead. Who does that remind me of? Who does that remind me of? Oh, Omni in the Hellcat. Soon as he got some money, he started doing all kinds of dumb shit. And interestingly enough, here's someone who came to social media, got a lot of fame, and got arrested and is now facing criminal charges. You see the pattern there? Andre Tate, with the webcam business, he probably made a lot of money. But he didn't make the kind of money he was making from Hustlers University. And once he started getting access to that money, he started spending money like a crackhead. As far as we know, Andre Tate could be broke. 
when you can, you're out buying five million dollar cars, three hundred thousand dollar watches, even if you're making millions of dollars per month. Now let's talk about that. Spending money like a crackhead. Um, was he paying taxes? There's no reference to taxes. So if he wasn't paying taxes and he legitimately made, that's going to be another issue for him. Like it, like it was for Omni. So, you know, I find it very interesting that people were like, you know, he says the same things you were saying. And I, I'm going to say this. If, Andre Tate was saying the same things I was saying, same things that Kevin Samuels was saying. Why didn't Kevin Samuels blow up like Andre Tate? You know, I keep hearing Andre Tate's black. All right. Andre Tate may have a black father, but Andre Tate and Tristan Tate present white. White man's ice colder. White man, because I'm just trying to figure it out because... Kevin Samuels didn't even get close to what Andre Tate got in terms of his. And seven, Kevin Samuels was also a social media construct. He was also a social media construct. So why didn't Kevin Samuels blow up like Andre Tate? Why didn't he? Because one of the things that I am consistently seeing, because once again, I know some of you guys hate the fact that I'm richer than you, that I live a better life than you, but stop with the passive aggressive bullshit. Well, you know, because during this whole thing, when I was trying to get canceled, there's uh, this fat fucker, Papa Gut, who's white, made several videos about me. So the internet was trying to cancel me and I was like, well, you went along with the program. So me having actual how to avoid child support courses, telling men to be men, telling men to work, you know, I went along with the program. Y'all are funny. On one side, Glendon Cameron is a pedo. On the other side, Glendon Cameron is going with the program. Make up your fucking mind. They tried to cancel me, and you want you want to know why they couldn't cancel me? Because I own my shit. See, I don't have these partnerships. I did not depend on all these social media sites. Because one of the things I have learned, like Facebook, I had a Facebook group that literally disappeared one day, and like two years later, it came back like a ghost ship. So I've always been very, very leery of most social media platforms. And YouTube is a social media platform, but it's very different. YouTube has organic reach. Anyone can come up on YouTube and blow up. But once again, uh, Andre Tate is not worth $350 million. Andre Tate doesn't own a yacht. Andre Tate um, did something. Now, it remains to be seen if he will be able to get out of this. Because I don't know all of the details, but I do know he's still in jail and there have been multiple women. It's not one woman. It's been multiple women that have come forward and said he did something. And once again, all you people are like, well, you know, you're, you're in the U.S. law. Romania is different. So it's okay to hold women against their will in Romania. It's okay to rape women. In, I, I don't I don't think that's the case. I don't, you know, if you think... That, hey, you can go to Romania and rape a woman and don't have to worry about nothing happening to you. You're a complete and utter dumbass. Um, would there be some differences in Romanian law? Of course, because it's a culturally different country. But I think on the big shit, like holding women hostage, criminal enterprise, uh, I, I don't think the Romanian laws are vastly different than the United States laws. But once again... Many of you refuse to dive into the truth. Go to his Wikipedia page. Go to his Wikipedia page. There is a ton of information on his Wikipedia page. Go to his Wikipedia page.
Wikipedia page. I, I'll post a link to it. In 2006, while I guess in the British reality show Big Brother, he came under scrutiny for his homophobic and racist comments on Twitter. A video apparently showing him hitting a woman with a belt caused him to be removed from the show after only six days. Tate and the woman both said they were friends and the actions in the video were consensual. Tate's social media, like literally, when you go back beyond 2021, it's very hard to find out a lot about this guy who's worth $350 million. It's pretty sketchy. It's pretty sketchy. Pretty sketchy. I think he just blew up on social media, took the world by storm, made a lot of money. But going back to this, ask yourself, what kind of man hits a woman with a belt? And there's various stories. I don't know if it was some BDSM sex play. I don't know because it was like he looked, she looked at another man and he beat her with a belt. I don't know if that's true. But once again, when you start to look behind the facade of Andrew Tate, because like this right here, this is telling. This is telling. That is the same damn boat. He was renting a yacht. He was renting a yacht. Okay? He was renting it. And that's why I feel he could be close to being broke. Because he's been spending money like a crackhead. Now, here's the thing. You could be making millions of dollars a month, which is a lot of money. But if you're spending millions of dollars per month, I listened to some of his interviews. He's like, hey, we'll get on a date. We would take a private jet. We would fly from Romania to London. And we would have these two cars waiting for us. That's a fifty, sixty thousand dollar date. You're spending money, like once again, parallels. I didn't have no money. When I got a hold of money, I started spending money like a crackhead. Parallels. Omni is you know, and you know, I think Omni didn't buy a private jet because, like, once again, it would be real interesting to see how this plays out, but. For a lot of you guys who are like free the Tates and stuff, you guys don't live, you know, going back to my video of how I used to be one of you, many of you guys do not want to deal with the blatant truth. You just don't want to deal with it because you could go to Wikipedia and see this stuff. You could do a simple Google search and find out what's fact, what's, you know, and Patrick, uh, Bet David likes um, Andrew Tate. And that whole show was like, you know, and I'm like, when you look at, like, once again, when they're seizing your money, they just can't like, hey, we're going to lock up this guy's money. There's a process to that. There's a process. Seize your money, an arrest. And here's the thing. I have said a lot of controversial stuff and I don't have nobody after me. I don't, I think that is a false notion that the matrix, but once again, it's the playbook from Donald Trump. It's us against them. And this is one of the, the coldest pieces of game I've ever saw. Donald Trump, a billionaire, convinced poor everyday Americans to donate money to donate money to his campaign best sales job I've ever seen in my life. Best sales job I've ever seen in my life. These are the same people. It's like, you're rich. Why are you charging for a course? They were donating money to, and Donald Trump is an authentic billionaire. Once again, the playbook, but 
once you start to really look into this, you see there's a lot of air. There's lies, outright lies, outright lies. He does not own a yacht. He rents a yacht. So once again, if you're going to lie about something like that, what else would you lie about? Think about it.